Good morning. Hey, girl. Hey. Rosa, I think that's your bus. You got your mask? Oh, man. Why do I have to leave so early? It's not early. It's time for the bus. <sighs> well, we were popping in to say good morning, but Ambrosia's bus is here. Tell the vlog bye. Have a good day. Bye. Okay. I unlocked it. All right. Kiss. Mwah. Have a good day. Thank you. Uh -huh. You hungry? What you want first? Your gogurt or banana or you want your cereal bar? It's yogurt. Oh, excuse me, your yogurt. Which one do you want first? Have I have a fruit loop bar. You want the fruit loop bar? Yes. This one? Okay. Oh, let me put on my seatbelt. Yep, I will fly out the window probably if I get in an accident. I gotta put my seatbelt on. I got my seatbelt on so I will fly out the window. That's right. Here you go. I didn't break it, it broke by itself. I promise you I didn't do it. But you have to break it to eat it anyway, so it's okay, right? All right, good morning. It is Wednesday, December 15th, and today is Vlogmas Day 15. Um, we try to come at you a little bit earlier this morning so that uh, bro saw um, KK in the vlog um, yesterday. We watched a little piece of it um, this morning um, from Mr. Jones's YouTube channel just because we got to get our views up, girl. So um, I was playing it on his YouTube channel this morning. Then I realized I started talking about... Um, her Christmas gifts and uh, Christmas being canceled. I mean, she already knows that it's canceled, but I turned it off because, you know, I just didn't want to go through that drama this morning with the whining and begging and pleading because it is what it is at this point. But anyway, um, she saw KK in yesterday's vlog and she was like, oh, I want to be in the vlog in the morning. And so usually we are on the phone with Mr. Jones which we were this morning, but he had to go. And so um, we had a few minutes before the bus pulled up, as you can see, not even a few minutes, we probably had a few seconds. <laughs> and then um, the bus rolled up. So she did get her little um, five seconds of fame this morning. <laughs> so uh, she got to say good morning to the vlog. Uh, uh oh, what happened? You dropped it? Did you drop it? No. Oh, you okay? Okay. Um, we have Miss KK in the back, and when I stop at the light, I will show you her outfit of the day. KK, yeah. say good morning to the vlog. <laughs> she said, I don't know if you guys could hear that. <laughs> oh, hold on. Sorry about all the bumpity bump bump. I had to put you back in your holster. But um, she said good morning ever so softly. Um, she is eating a Fruit Loop breakfast bar. She also has a go no, you see and a, a banana. Oh, I'm sorry, a yogurt. She doesn't want me to call it a go-gurt. She wants me to call it a yogurt. You're correct, there is yogurt on the inside. But the reason why the package says go-gurt with the letter, ooh, this is a good one because that's the letter of the week. What does g-g-go-gurt begin with? What letter is that? 
That's correct. The reason why it's Gogurt with the letter G is because you can take it in the car on the go. You can take it with you on the go. So that's why they call it a Gogurt. Get it? Yogurt, Gogurt. Yogurt on the go. <laughs> anyway, um, I did forget her juice, so they. So, um, she'll have to get juice at school, which is fine. Um, what else? Oh, last night we did have Taco Tuesday. Um, well, bro, Mr. Jones, and I had Taco Tuesday. KK had, um, fruit and, uh, apple. I meant fruit and um, what did you eat last night? Oh, she had leftover macaroni and cheese that she didn't, she refused to eat. So her dad made her one of those little beefaroni bowls. And so she ate that. Anyway, so uh, yeah, we had the um, Taco Tuesday. It was pretty good. I was a little if on the fence about that um, barbecue pulled pork, but when I tell you it was good in the taco, I kind of rolled mine up like a burrito because the um, tortillas, um, the soft tortillas that I got, um, they were kind of big. So I kind of rolled my um, pulled pork taco up like a burrito and hun, it was good. We also had the, uh, it was so good that they hardly made, well, we I guess I cooked a lot of the pulled chicken, but we have quite a bit left over. And so, um, tonight we'll do uh, bowls. I'll make bowls because we still have um, rice and beans, um, lettuce, you know, all the ingredients we still have, but I'll, I'll do it like a bowl tonight. Oh, Mr. Jones is calling us back, so I will pop back in with you guys a little bit later. Hi. You're done. Okay, so we are back. Uh, we chopped it up a little bit with Mr. Jones. He wanted, wants to um, wanted to talk to the girls, um, but he missed Bro as she is already on the bus and off to school. And we talked to him. Actually, we talked to him for a good little bit because we're almost at KK school, um, and it's a good what, 20 minutes away from my house, 15, 20 minutes, depending on traffic. Um, yeah, so it's been a pretty um, uneventful morning. So far, so good. I am going into the office today. Um, I'm feeling 100% better, you know, back to my normal self. My arm does not hurt, it's not sore, I don't have a little nagging headache or anything like that. So I'm good. Um, headache, I mean, you know, working in the office today, um, well, I mean, it really didn't make any sense for me to go to the office today because I tomorrow I'll be working from home and then Friday I'm off. But I'm going in today because my manager, um, messaged me and asked me to go in today. She messaged me yesterday and asked me to come in today because they're doing, um, I guess they're having some kind of surprise for us in the Jacksonville branch. So she didn't want to want me to miss out on that. Some more holiday shenanigans. Um, so I'm going in for that. Um, whatever that is. And, um, see what that is all about. I don't know why people take up the whole daggone drive way to the entrance because, I mean, people are dropping off and picking up, I mean, you know, going both ways. I mean, why are you in the middle? That really, I don't get it. My child goes here just like yours does. Why are you taking up the whole driveway space? But anyway, I digress. We are at KK School, hun. We are dropping her off, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay, say bye to the vlog. Bye. Oh, they couldn't see you. Say bye. Bye.
<laughs> she is still um, eating her bananas. I'm, I'm glad she's eating because when I tell you it's a struggle, she ate her gogurt. Um, she. She, oh, excuse me. She ate her yogurt. She ate all of her cereal bar, and now she's eating her banana. So I'm happy that she's um, eating because, girl, as much as I try not to stress out about it, I mean, it's your child, so you, you're you going to stress about it a little bit. So I'm glad she's eating. But anyway, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye. All right, hon. I am back. All the kiddos are dropped off and at school and I am off to the office um, I have about just about just a few minutes under an hour before I have to be at work so I have a little time um, so I am going to make my usually I Starbucks on Friday but I am going to Starbucks today because Technically, today is, well, today is not my Friday. Tomorrow is my Friday, but I'm already, I'll already be at home. So, um, I am going to Starbucks today because on Friday, I took the day off so that I could chaperone a uh, bro's field trip. Um, we are going on a field trip, hun, and, um, usually you know I chaperone at least one field trip a year since she's been in kindergarten and she is now in third grade and all of second grade they had no field trips at all because of the big C and the whole um, panorama pandemic so um, this will be their second field trip this year um, the first one um, I did not chaperone I didn't even want to chaperone that one. I think they went to the Museum of Science and History and we had just gone to the Museum of Science and History probably maybe like two months before they went. So I had just gone. I had just been there, done that. So I didn't want to chaperone that, that field trip. Um, so um, yeah, this one... They're actually going to the movies. I have no idea what they're going to see, but um, they're doing the whole IMAX experience thing. And um, so, and I have, believe it or not, I have not, well, I guess you could believe it because plenty of people haven't um, gone. I haven't gone to the movies since before the panorama. Let me tell you the last thing Either the last thing I think I saw was either um, Frozen 2 or um, Aladdin, the one with um, the one with Will Smith as the genie. So it was out of one of those two. I can't remember which one, but that's that's the last time that I've actually gone to a movie theater. Um, it hadn't been a problem as far as like movies because, like I said, we have. Um, fire sticks on three of our TVs and we have honey we have the B and we have the cinema and you know all, all the things and the the IP vanish and everything that we, that we need um, so I mean the world is our oyster I guess when it comes to all of that so I'm not I'm missing out on anything but as far back as um, when Mr. Jones and I started dating and this is so hard to believe. Okay, so in April, this coming April, so like in, you know, what, four more months, four and a half months, we will have been married for 14 years. And we dated about a year and a half or so, just shy of a year and a half before we got married. So it's going to be almost 16 years that I've been with him. So, um, Ever since we uh, first started dating, we used to go to the movies. He loved going to the movies. And so, you know, neither one of us had any kids. And, you know, we, you know, after work, you know, sometimes I would meet him at the movie theater. We would go sometimes two or three times a week. Like, we literally saw everything, everything. Let me tell you how long ago it's been. Well, I just told you, but I remember we used to actually go to Blockbuster Video, hun, and rent movies sometimes watch movies and um, 
that was our Netflix and chill back then. But um, yeah, we uh, we used to love to go to the movies. And then once we um, had kids, especially with Bro, Bro was a different kind of baby and a different kind of kid. You couldn't really, like she cried all the time. So we couldn't really take her to the movies because you know she would be in there being a disruption and um I'm, I'm not like that i'm not i don't usually take uh kids anywhere where it's not a kid friendly place and i mean kids do go to the movies but if they're gonna be in there especially an adult movie and we're, we're taking a baby trying to have a date night and the baby's gonna be in there crying i'm just not gonna do that and ruin the experience for other people who have paid their money to see the movies. I, I'm just not that type of person. Um, so, <clears throat> yeah, we just kind of fell off with that going to the movies. And then once Bro got older and we had KK and KK was, you know, one, because KK was a different baby. She was quiet. She hardly ever cried. And, you know, and Bro was old enough to like, because when I had KK, Bro was four. Um, well, was just about to turn five, but she was still four. And so um, we could take her to the movies, um, you know, to see all the little new animated things and stuff that she was liking at that time because, you know, she had grown up a little bit and, you know, KK wasn't that type of baby. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know how I got off on that tangent. Oh, I was telling you guys about the, um, the field trip. So... Um, I am going to be a chaperone for that. And that reminds me, I have my field trip t-shirt for the school. I need to look through my drawers and bins and find out, figure out where I stashed it. So, cause I'll have to wear my field trip t-shirt on Friday to blend in with the school and the kids. So that should be pretty fun. And then on Friday, um, evening sorry sir on friday evening um bro has her end of the year party for um her cheer for uh pop warner it's not just for the cheer the football players everything pop warner is having their um end of the year party so that should be fun so friday would be um a pretty eventful day with the kiddos at the field trip and then also at the end of the year party um, so that'll be a good day. And it's for the whole family. So all of us, um, Mr. Jones, KK, everybody is going to go to the end, of the end of the year party because it's for, um, the whole family. And then, um, Saturday, um, you know, gymnastics. And then, um, I'll get the girls ready to go to their cousins. And you know what? I need to call my sister-in-law and see what time they can come over because it may just be more beneficial for me to take them after gymnastics and then that way I can um, have some time to do my nails and my hair and just relax and get my mind right and get dressed without chaos <laughs> and do my makeup without chaos and just have some peace and zen and saw because honey trying to do everything with those girls a mess a complete mess um yeah they're into everything mommy what's that where do you put that at oh that's the mascara can i help you do this and it's cute but then it's like girls i'm trying to get dressed <laughs> so uh yeah I'll, I'll i'll see if i can arrange that to take them probably after gymnastics if my sister-in-law says that it is okay the girls are excited to see their cousins they have not seen them since um halloween when um we went trick-or-treating we trick-or-treat with them every year and prior to that i think the last time that they saw them is when we went to the museum of science and history and that was right like maybe a week or so before school started. So that was back in August. So um, they've only got to be with their cousins really twice in the last 
what, a few months or so. So they are excited about going over there and being with their cousins and playing and having fun. You know how it is, you know, back in the day, you always wanted to be with your cousins and you couldn't wait till you and your cousins got together and um, it was always a good time. So I love to see them um, all get together and be together. But anyway, girl, I am going to sign off for now. I'll check back in with you guys later today. I have to make a few phone calls. I have to call my girlfriend and check on her mom, Miss Pearl. Um, and then I have another phone call to make to another girlfriend. It's like the only time I can really, um, I really get my uh, calls in with my friends is like, I'm, I'm in the car because, you know, the kids aren't a distraction. So let me make my call, son, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. All right, hon, I have made it to the office and I am walking in. When I get up to the elevator doors, I will show you guys my outfit of the day. I just have on an all you can eat dress, <laughs> a, a baby doll dress. Um, I have on some uh, chocolate brown leggings and some boots. It is a very nice day today. Um, you don't need, it's probably already over 70 degrees now, especially in the sun. So should be a pretty um, nice day today here in the beautiful sunshine state of Florida and uh, check back in with you guys later. Bye! Give me just a second. I gotta, this morning I had on the heat and this afternoon I gotta kick on the AC, huh? Cause it's hot. Um, but hey girl, hey, I am back. And we are on our lunchtime car chat. Um, I wasn't gonna go out for lunch today because we had, um, a little company um, event, which is why I even came into the office today. So uh, they catered the food. We had um, barbecue, uh, brisket, uh, chicken, sausage, collard greens, macaroni and cheese. Um, it, was, it was okay. And um, we did like a team building thing where we like painted ornaments and stuff like that, nothing to write home about, but nice gesture, I guess. Um, but I need to do a Target run because I just got a dojo from Ambrosia's teacher reminding the parents about uh, pajama day tomorrow. And um, I mean, she does have pajamas or whatever, but I'm pretty sure that she wants to wear new pajamas for the uh, party on tomorrow and they're doing the, the party tomorrow because of course they have I hope that AC is not too loud and picking up in the speaker because the field trip is on Friday so um, I I kind of forgot about the pajama day but I didn't um, I'm trying to keep up with the two girls in a different 
um, holiday um, school activity schedules because KK also has um, has one a pajama party coming up holiday pajama party but hers is next week I think it's either on Tuesday or Wednesday I can't remember but um, yeah oh I also need to give her teacher money for the party I haven't done that yet and I've been forgetting um, I need to tell Mr. Jones for probably for my I think Monday is the last day and he's the one who actually pays the tuition for her so I need to tell him so that he can give her teacher money um, or not I mean I think it was like five or ten dollars or something like that I can do it I guess I her school needs to come up like bro school. Everything is like cashless and digital and communication through the apps and things like that. And I know KK, she's just K3, but I mean, the, come on, let's, let's get up with the times. We need some digital currency around there. That way I could just like cash out the school or something like that. Now I have to remember to get cash back if I'm in a store or go to an ATM so I can actually have cash to give to the teacher and um, I guess it's not you know when I say it out loud it's like girl just get the money but it's a little bit of a hassle so um, I guess while I'm in Target I will pick up pajamas for both of the girls um, to have new pajamas and I'll just um, keep KK's in the trunk because if I take them out and show them to her she's gonna want to sleep in them and wear them around where I'm at home and I want her to wear it fresh and new to the pajama party oh while I'm in here too I need to pick up a gift for KK's secret Santa thank you for reminding me girl um, you know mom brain all over the place so I need to do that too her secret Santa is a boy and um, his name, there's, I don't want to say it just in case his mom or something may watch the blog. I don't know. I highly, I highly doubt it. I have no idea who his parents are. But his name is the same as a character that KK watches. And so I'm going to try to see if I can find a toy related to that while I'm in here. And pick that up for the little boy. I'm pretty sure since that's his name, he probably has all sorts of stuff like that. But that's what I'm gonna get if I see it. If not, he'll just get a regular, um, I guess, boyish toy, a, a car or something like that. I don't know. So, um, yeah. So we are almost at the target, and um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. That's my. Um, what I'm up to today on our lunchtime um, shenanigans and car chat. Um, I need to get some snacks for my desk, but since today is technically my last day at the, actually, yeah, today is my last day in the office until after the um, first of the year because I'm gonna be working from home every day while, um, the kids are out on Christmas break. So today's my last day. Girl, I am behind a school bus in the Target shopping plaza. I've never actually seen this before where they have um, a school bus in a shopping plaza. So that's interesting. Um, next to the Target, I mean, you know, it's like a strip and they have like different little businesses, but there's a wax strip over here. And I keep saying that I want to um, check it out and um, see what this one is talking about. My um, KK's godmother, my good, good friend and sister was supposed to take me with her to her place. And she has yet to do so. So if she is watching this vlog, shame, shame, shame on you. Because we're supposed to do that together. Um, so we need to get that done, hon. I do not like um, holiday shopping. I'm, 
I needed to do the Target run, but I forget that, um, you know, the Christmas shoppers are out. The people who don't normally do Target runs are in Target. So it's like a madhouse. But I've secured a park. Uh, uh, I've secured a parking spot and I'm about to run in and um, maybe I'll take you guys with me. Maybe I won't. I don't know. We'll see what goes down, but I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey girl, I am back. Ooh. This is down so far. Fix that. I do want it on my ears, but not way up the, the ponytail. But anyway, I am back and I feel like oh, I look so oily. I am back and I have secured the goods from Target or Target or whatever your preference of pronouncing it is. Um, and now I am on my way back to the office. I have a taste for something sweet. But I don't feel like stopping anywhere else, so I'll have to settle for something from the break room, piece of candy, or something to get from out of this Target parking lot before somebody hits my car <clears throat> or I hit someone's car. It's a madhouse out here. You get from out of these Christmas shopping streets, hun. Um, I got pajamas for both the girls. Um, for bro, I got, um, and I've seen a, a preview for this, and I actually think this is this is one of the movies that we uh, may choose from to go see on Christmas Day. But it's called Encanto. I believe is how you pronounce it. And um, they're brown people. I don't, they, they, I guess they're Hispanic, but it's a, um, I don't know if it's a Disney cartoon or, or what have you. I have to look up more information about it. I don't know, I've just seen it, but I like the Encanto um, pajamas. So I got that for bro and it came with the um, fuzzy sticky socks, even though she'll have on shoes. Uh, and for KK, I got, um, Target has a brand and bro actually has a sheet set like this in her room but um, it's like black girl magic <laughs> type brand but you know has little uh, black kids on there and um, I think they're playing in the snow or whatever it's like one of their black owned brands um, pajama design so I got that one for KK I got it in a size 3T which um, she'll need now for the length because she's getting longer, but I'll probably have to take it up in the waist. Girl, like who has time to take up pajamas? But hers, her pajama party is next week, so I can do it sometime over the weekend and um, beginning of next week. So I still have some time on that if I need to take it up, which means that I will have to show it to her to try it on her to know if I need to um, take it up. For bro, I went with the, the bigger size. It had like 7, 8, and then um, 9, I'm sorry, 7, 8, and then 10, 12. Like, do they just not make a size 9, 10, and some stuff for girls? Because that's the stage that bro is in. Um, the 10, 12 is, a, is big, a little big, but since it's pajamas, I went ahead and went with that size because I know when I... Um, wash it and dry it it's going to shrink up anyway and you know so i like my pajamas to fit oversized but for um if it's too oversized i may go ahead and wash it and dry it um, before she wears it that way it won't be so oversized on her so i'll let them both try those on um tonight um 
what else oh i got the little boy kk secret santa i got him a um spider-man um action figure type toy with some you know the different spider-man uh, gadgets that he uses the web and um something else it came with um i know it was supposed to be like a five or ten dollar thing but i couldn't find anything in that range that was like that I thought the little boy would actually play with. So, and I know Spider-Man is really popular right now. That's actually one of the movies that uh, we will pick from to go see as well. So it's Encanto, um, Spider-Man, uh, Sing 2, and um, another one. Oh, The Eternals. But I don't even know if that is uh, still playing. Oh, look, Cray Vegan is... Um, right over here near my office and he told me that on Sunday um, he and his wife were um, at our church on Sunday and he said that he would be out here this week but um, we had the thing today but I did say that I was going to try it out but it uh, looks like he is um, all packed up and ready to go but I just saw the food truck right at the corner I'm at the light to turn to go over uh, to my office so yeah girl this is gonna end i'm gonna close out the vlog now for today vlog must stay 15 hun um yeah it's been 15 days of vlogmas it's been fun i appreciate everyone who is supporting me thus far um last time i looked i think i was at 49 subscribers so um that may seem like girl 49 subscribers it may seem like nothing to you, but it's a lot to me because uh, 15 days ago, I didn't have any. <laughs> so, um, and I don't, you know, like over promote or ask anybody to, to share or anything like that. I just, I make a post each day on my Facebook and a post each day on my Instagram and do a story and that's pretty much it. So, um, yeah, I haven't done like a lot of, um, pushing myself out there and um so i appreciate the 49 subscribers i really do so one day you know i hope to come back on a vlog and say girl i have 100 subscribers now and oh i have 500 oh i have a thousand and let's do a giveaway like the other uh youtubers do when they reach a, a milestone so i'm looking forward to that it's been fun thus far so thank you for your support subscribe to my channel um, like the content if you do push the thumbs up button and leave me a comment if you want to I will definitely respond um, not above that at all so I'm just enjoying it and um, yeah we're gonna close it out here thank you for tuning in to Mrs. Bro and KK show that is me and uh, my name is Kendra you can follow me also over on Facebook at Kendra Borders Jones and I'm also Mrs. Bro and KK Show the same as the YouTube channel over on Instagram and also on Pinterest hun so we will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 16 bye